after many 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 hours uh, in the cafe doing my homework and uploading videos and preparing a media kit I am now ready to go back to my dorm put on some more clothes because it's cooler now it's already like 6 uh, p.m. and uh, then we're gonna go down so to find a place where I can print out my uh, flight ticket and media kit and something else and then we have to pack and we have three hours to go. Because I am just a city bird, I realized that my flight was actually flying out in the morning, this morning, but I was ready to go now. And uh, yeah, so I didn't have a plane. And uh, so a few hours ago, I realized this and I totally freaked out. Luckily my roomie, she was much more fun than me, so she helped me pack and I bought a new ticket Way too expensive, of course, but now I'm on my way to Manila, Philippines, with a stopover in Guangzhou, but uh, only for seven hours. I know, way too long, but I actually booked a hotel, so it's okay. Anyway, just sitting here right now, waiting for them to get ready so we can board from Beijing. It has all gone really smooth until now, and yeah, I'm very satisfied, happy. Next, uh, very curious about this one. I'm just trying to focus here. There we go, Crystal Juju Lee. Yep, exciting. <laughs> hey guys, I actually thought that I wouldn't want to uh, vlog right now because I just wanted to go to bed and then you know get up in a few hours and go and change the next flight. Anyway. Uh, it turned out to be a very good experience, so I thought I should actually show you guys. <laughs> and I'm filming in the mirror because it's just a little bit easier sometimes, so I can see that I'm actually filming and not just talking for a turned off camera. So anyway, the trip to Guangzhou here in South China went so smooth. Like, if you remember last time when I went to Kunming and back, oh my god, so many problems and cancellations and like um, problems with the flight and oh my god so much trouble anyway China Southern Airlines thank you guys so much I don't remember if that was the one I was with last time but this time amazing um, the f on the flight I could watch Grey's Anatomy like the newest episodes and uh, two uh, what is that called? Two and a half men and like so many different TV series in different languages like I could watch uh, Russian, Korean, Chinese, English, whatever I felt like. So that was just so cool and when I arrived in the uh, airport here in Guangzhou I just called the hotel and said hello I'm here so they came and picked me up for free and now I'm here and I paid a hundred kwai for this room. I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour. So we got a TV here. I got two beds. Come on guys, a hundred kwai for this. In Beijing, you would never be able to get this. It's so random because Guangzhou is also quite an expensive town, but because it's the capital here and it's so nearby Hong Kong, it's like one hour from Hong Kong. And guys, come on, the best thing. Who doesn't want to have their bathroom on the balcony, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> let's get back to the room. <laughs> so I'm just so excited. Uh, right now it's uh, 1 a.m. and I just had a chit chat with the taxi driver. I talked a little bit to the receptionist, and they're gonna drive me 10 minutes uh, to the airport tomorrow morning. Well, it's not really tomorrow. It's actually today in the morning in a few hours. So I have from now 1 a.m. to like 5 a.m. sleep for hours and then they will call me and they will send me to the airport and I can get on to my next plane to Manila. So I get a little bit of sleep. I actually thought that I wouldn't get any sleep. Um, actually, the whole situation is like this. I think I told you uh, earlier, but let's try again. Anyway, um, so yeah, I had booked a plane, a flight for uh, the 12th of October, right? And I thought, dumb as I am, the 12th of October uh, in the evening, that I would fly out in the evening, right? 
because Ling Ling didn't think, again, I've done this so many times, it's so embarrassing, but I basically didn't consider the fact that it was after midnight. So, you know, if it was after midnight, like it is right now, that I should fly right now, it would be the 13th of October, right? Yeah, so I realized this evening at 6 p.m. when I thought that I was in good time and everything went well, that I would be going to the airport and then, and then what happened? Well, I logged into my managed bookings on the Cebu Air, Pacific Air something website and it said there are no uh, bookings, like you can't, you can't print print any boarding passes and I was like what 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 I thought something was wrong with the website what was going on blah 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 you know but then suddenly it just suddenly it just came to me and I realized you totally screwed up girl that was so 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 dumb so yeah that's me uh, I need an assistant one day when I can afford it because I cannot manage these things. I don't know why I screw it up and I do it like this is not the first time I've done this. I'm tired now. <laughs> I screwed up and it's my own fault and I try not to think too much about it that my savings are running out because of stupid mistakes like that. Yeah, that one is on me. And now I'll go to bed. Uh, I sleep up for a few hours and then I'll see you guys in the morning or in a few hours in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.